I started playing violin when I was four, and I started with the Suzuki method. I've always loved playing classical, but at my very first Suzuki recital when I was five years old, uh, after I played my little Suzuki piece, my dad came up and we played the old-time bluegrass tune, Boil em Cabbage Down, and it, it just brought the house down. And I, that was where it all started. I've been a musician for as long as I can remember. My mother's a musician and started me on the guitar when I was really little. And since college, I've been composing for television commercials and other TV projects. So when Emma came along, you know, she was so surrounded by music that it was really natural for her to decide when she was three that she wanted to play the violin. We waited till she was four, but uh, she clearly had the music gene. We've just always played together, you know? It's been amazing to perform with Emma for all these years. Um, and it's been a real joy to watch her grow as a, as a musician. It's an amazing relationship to have with your child, you know, to, to basically be you know, partners, like partners in, in music. <laughs> and it's not without its challenges, you know? Sometimes we would definitely butt heads. We're, we're both very stubborn people, but I think it's endearing a little bit when we're on stage and we kind of go back and forth and people just laugh and say, oh, they're just family. <laughs> I do feel like I kind of grew up at Gray Fox. I've been going there since before I can remember and I always knew I wanted to be a part of that world. You know, seeing all the bands, meeting all of the musicians and it really felt like home. And uh, that was also the first place that I saw Jim Van Cleve's band, Mountain Heart. <laughs> People have been asking us for a long time, when are you going to produce an album? And uh, finally it came together and Jim agreed to produce our record. We got the opportunity to go down to Nashville and spend a week there recording with some of the best musicians in the world. Yeah, Jim got us an incredible A-list of players and uh, you know included Brian Sutton and Byron House and Kenny Malone and Jeff Taylor. And then uh, Aaron Ramsey and Josh Schilling of Mountain Heart kind of jumped in on the project because they, they just happened to be in Nashville. And Jim, too. He gave us some vocals and some fiddle, which was awesome. So we've actually got half of that band on our record, too. You put that kind of a crew in a room together and you give them great material like Dave and Emma brought to the table and, you know, just wait for the magic to start happening. And, and at the risk of sounding cliche, you know, it was magic. It was, truly was. It was just, just a special time. Hold On is the song that really set the wheels in motion for this project. Um, I think once Jim heard the demo and, and heard Emma sing for the first time, um, that's what really got him excited to work on this record with us. When I first heard Hold On, I remember thinking, wow, that's, you know, dynamic was the word that came to mind. Uh, there were a lot of moving parts musically. It went a lot of different places, you know, change of time signatures and, you know, the lyric content was strong. Add all that together, knowing the kind of band we were going to be able to put in the studio, I was, I was starting to get excited by the time I heard that tune. Remember Me is a song that was inspired by Rob Hall, who was an expert climber who was trapped near the summit of Mount Everest, and, and he knew he wasn't going to survive. And in his last moments, he was able to speak to his pregnant wife uh, back in New Zealand via satellite phone. And while they talked, they named their daughter, uh, who he would never meet. High on the mountain, you can see from my it's cold and it's windy So you think of a smile 
You talk of your daughter growing inside and think of a name for her. A Shadow Behind was a very new tune for us when we recorded it. So everyone just kind of contributed all their ideas and Brian Sutton pulled out his gut string banjo and Jeff Taylor had his flute. And it was just layers of percussion and piano and accordion. Um, I mean, it was everyone just pulled out all their toys. It was like a bunch of kids in a candy shop, but with instruments. I waited in a garden on top of a hill next to the sea. When the waters lie down and the winds turn around, then you'll be free. Little Emma is a song I wrote when Emma was probably about six, so it's been around for a while. And uh, so it was a lot of fun to go in the studio with these great musicians and see what they were going to do with it, and it kind of made it like a new song for me. And a good example of that is Aaron's Dobro solo, uh, probably one of my favorite moments out of all six songs. One of the coolest memories I have is tracking the fiddles for No More We May with Jim. We were, it was like one in the morning and we're sitting there separated by glass and the, the song starts rolling and we just start going nuts. <laughs> five or six years ago when I was teaching myself all of Jim's solos and he had no idea who I was, that I would end up in the studio next to him like dueling fiddles, I don't know if, I, I don't think Playing I his fiddle. Playing his <laughs> fiddle, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Opus 57 is a great Dave Grisman song that Emma and I have always performed together live, and since we had such a killer band, we just thought it would be a really good one to cover for this record. Yeah, everyone could really kind of shred on that one. It was, uh, it's the only one on the record where we really could kind of show our chops a little bit with the speed, and, which was really fun. <laughs> This is not just another record. This is two people making music that matters um, with other musicians who get it. And I just really feel like the passion that Dave and Emma are putting into what they're doing uh, deserves to be heard. Hopefully you'll agree and uh, you want to help them fulfill this vision. So now we hope you are as fired up about this music as we are and want to help us cross the finish line. Thank you so much for sitting through this video and keep supporting independent music. Thank you.